If you've seen any of the advertisements, Black Friday is here, guys. The pre-Black Friday, the post-Black Friday, the after Black Friday, the, the Tuesday before the next. There are so many things that are already not Black Friday, but it is already Black Friday related with the sales that are going on right now. Now, holiday shopping season is near, guys. This is really the time. And a lot of retailers used to wait till Black Friday, and now they do not. We actually had a lot of sales that started late October, almost Halloween, with the pre-Black Friday sales that they had going on. Now, it is estimated that an average American is going to spend $1,600. That is right, guys, $1,600 when it comes to the Black Friday sales and when it comes to the holiday shopping. But looking at some of these key findings are what we're going to go through today, which are just kind of crazy to think, guys. So if you caught the retail report for the end of quarter three, we're at $1.08 billion in credit card debt as a nation. That is right, guys. It We far eclipsed the last quarter, which was $1.03 billion. And now we're at $1.08 billion. We haven't even approached to the holiday shopping season as of yet. Now, key findings, guys, to really pay attention to is some of us and a majority of people, 52% of Americans, are still paying from the debt from 2022 from the holiday shopping. That is right, guys. We carried the credit card debt the entire year, which means 2022, we had a balance on the card. 2023, we still have a balance on the card. And for a lot of these people, it is a lot higher balance. Now, nearly 31% have never paid off the credit card balances, which means you have this perpetual cycle of credit card debt that is never going to end. And then you're going to be added onto it with this season that is coming up. So most of this year shopping will be put onto credit cards. That is right. They estimate 74% of shoppers that are going to be shopping um, for this holiday season are going to put it on credit cards. Now, guys, that means not only are you paying for the item that you're getting, you're also paying the institution that gives you the credit card on top of the item you're paying with the interest that you're paying, which is the reason why, again, so many people are carrying this kind of year over year forever. They plan to charge about $700 on average on credit cards over the holiday season, which again is kind of crazy to think that we are just racking up this much more debt. Now with inflation going up and also the impact of student loan payments, is another really big one, guys, because now a lot of people that are carrying student loans do not have the expedited income or do not have the, the access of income to really go and do the holiday shopping, which means they're paying back their student loans versus doing the shopping, which is good. But I hope it doesn't mean that a lot of people, again, are going to resort to breaking out that credit card and continuing to use that for this holiday shopping. Now, some are planning to keep it a little bit smaller this holiday season. Again, with things getting more expensive across the board, when you look at mortgages, when you look at rates, when you look at credit cards, when you look at loans, when you look at even just buying household, you know, consumer price index items, going grocery shopping, it is a lot more expensive this year than it ever has been in the past, which means there has to be a point of cutting back on some of the priority items that we do see with this holiday season. Now, 2023 holiday shoppers, 26% of them have said they have plans to limit gift spending within this year, which again is really a good point. But credit card debt lingers, that is right. Roughly 31% of people still have balances from 2022. So again, you did your holiday shopping last year. You're still carrying your holiday shopping this year. On average, 2022 shoppers using credit cards to buy gifts took 2.9 months to pay off that card if they were paying it off in full, which is, again, a very, very small percentage of individuals that are paying these off. Now, with that being said, guys, um, making sure that you're not really accumulating more than you can, you can afford to pay off is super important when it comes to the debt shopping. Credit cards need to be used as a tool, not as a tool to really borrow money for an infinite amount of time, which means it is going to be very expensive, guys. Every $1,000 in credit card debt you have, it costs you more than $200 per year per $1,000. Now put that in perspective where the average credit card debt is around $6,000. That is right, guys. When you look at the numbers in the interest for that entire year, you're talking roughly $1,200 in interest. That you're just throwing away. For a majority of people, that could be a paycheck. That could be a multitude of things, including the ability to save investment-wise, putting money away for kids' education, a lot of different things, which makes it very important, guys, to have a debt repayment plan. It is not about spending and really going through the holiday budget. Um, make sure you know what you're buying. Now, some of the tips and tricks for that, guys, um, a lot of people are going to be using credit cards. But with that being said, there are still a lot that are using cash to go ahead and buy this. 
Couple things you have to be careful. Number one, the buy now, pay later services. Now we have seen this exploding everywhere, guys. We've seen it at Best Buy, we've seen it at Walmart, it's come up at Target. The buy now, pay later services mean that not only can you buy the product now so you get the instant gratification of having the product now, but you can spend the next four, six, eight, 12 months, whatever it is, to pay for that again with interest. So if you're not using the credit card, you can do buy now, pay later. That does come with fees, which again, can make the holiday shopping far more expensive. A lot of people, in addition to this, guys, when holiday shopping, 8% are going to use cash advance or cash advance applications um, or cash advance to get short-term funds. 6% are gonna use uh, personal loans, 4% are going to use payday advance or payday loans, which is insane, guys. Payday loans run about a 300 plus percent annual percentage rate, which is kind of crazy um, to, to think that you're going to use that, that a lot of people are gonna sacrifice their savings accounts, they're gonna go into debt, or they're gonna see some very um, questionable financial decisions when it comes to borrowing that money. So the higher cost will, of course, impact the holiday shopping. It is the time to really search for deals, guys. With inflation kind of leveling out, it doesn't mean that any of the costs are dropping. And that's exactly what we're seeing. As many as half of 2023 shoppers won't be able to buy as many gifts as they did last year because of the price increases that we're dealing with. And again, we're still seeing some pretty deep discounts in some places. So the savvy shopping strategies right here, guys, make sure that you keep your emergency fund and your savings intact. This is not at the emergency. A lot of people say holiday shopping, um, it is a need and it is something that you need to go out and do. Guys, the emergency fund is for an emergency. I repeat, the holiday shopping is not an emergency that you do not need to go ahead and do this. Now, of course, spending locally, boosting tips and donating to charities, we also see go hand in hand with the holiday season. Now, if you can give, great. If you're blessed, if your family, you know, you, you have enough to support yourself and you can help others that are in need, absolutely great, guys but please do not go through donating to charity, boosting your tips and spending your money when you do not have it for yourself, making sure that all of your needs are covered and your expenses are covered before you go out and you're giving money to other individuals. Now, now that means, it might mean for a lot of people, um, really tightening down on the finances and making a list. This is one of the best ways to have the savvy shopping is making a list of exactly what you wanna buy and sticking to that list, guys. If there are very specific items that are on that list, discount shop them online. See where you can get promotion codes. See where you can get deals. Price watch these items, especially if they are bigger ticket items. There's an incredible amount of competition out there between retailers, which means the price variations will vary greatly um, depending as we get closer to the holiday season. If there is still inventory, you're gonna see price reductions. You're gonna see a lot of different things that go on and a lot of companies are looking to offload all of their holiday things. So some are opting to also go green in this holiday season. That means it is cutting to almost no expenses, which when it does boil down to really what is the holiday season about, guys? It is about spending time with friends and family, with loved ones, um, really getting together to celebrate the season. Not so much about the gifts. Instead of making it so much about the gifts, a lot of people would rather get fewer holiday gifts or fewer gifts at all, knowing that they're in a better position where, you know, if you're not doing as well financially and you're putting your money out to buy gifts for others individuals just to put yourself in a worse situation, I would much rather not receive the gift. And I know a lot of you would as well. I'm um, really not receiving the gift versus having you go into an absorbent amount of debt to make it very difficult for you coming out of the holiday season. Now, of course, methodology behind this, guys, don't go overboard for the holiday season. Know exactly what you're gonna be shopping and who you're shopping for. Might be the time to limit the gifts. Could be looking at gift cards. Even a lot of places offer gift cards and it is the second biggest item that is actually purchased. But with those gift cards, you can buy them discounted. You can buy them in bulk. I know a lot of retailers do have them in a discounted variety to make sure that you can really cut down on some of the holiday shopping. Guys, again, putting the video out there, really wanted to make sure that you're cognizant about the holidays and the holiday shopping. Don't touch the emergency fund, guys. This is not the emergency fund. But if you like the content that I'm providing, consider subscribing to the channel. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.